Now, this is some real life behind the scenes footage. This is an actual bonus module that is included inside of the brand new language of women. So I wanna show you just how in depth I take this. I want to show you just how granular I make all of these step-by-step -step processes so that way you can optimize front end game when you first meet women to attract them, middle game, which is your first one to three dates, and back end game so that way you can maintain proper long-term relationships. This is the level of content that guys are getting inside of my brand new community. The link is in the description. We just went live a few days ago. We have already crossed over 120 members. And because of that, I've put together some of the most irresistible behind the scenes footage for you, where I take you step by step. I show you how to run the perfect FaceTime date, or I show you how to essentially raise a woman's interest level through FaceTime step by step. So that way you actually reduce flakes she has higher investment into you, and she actually starts to genuinely like you as a man. This is so important. Watch this video, it's going to totally transform your dating life, so that way you can actually attract the types of women that you want to maintain healthy relationships. So let's dive in. Okay, so today I'm showing you how to run the perfect FaceTime call. I'm gonna show you everything I do to seal the deal so that way I get dates, and that way the women want to see me once I meet them. Um, so I had to kind of learn this the hard way through a lot of trial and error, but I'm going to show you the best possible way you can do this. And this is pretty epic because I show you a lot of little tricks you can use. So let me give you a few examples. Maybe you might meet a girl online, maybe a girl through direct messenger, maybe a girl on a dating app and she wants to see you, right? So I'll give you an example. About a week ago, I had a girl actually inbox me first and she messaged me something and I asked if she wanted to see me. She said yes, but first she wanted to FaceTime. Okay, great, we can get to know each other. So some of you, you might be sitting there thinking, oh, well, she inboxed you first. That means you've sealed the deal. No, 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 not so fast. Before she wants to take the time to meet me in person, she wants to gauge who I am and how I operate. So what do you gotta do? You have to FaceTime them. So right off the bat, I'm going to tell you exactly how to FaceTime a girl because it is all in the setup and creating the illusion of certain frames of value. So she looks at you as a masculine man. So step one, you need to show and you need to exercise your strong suit. For me, my strong suit is obviously my body because I've been lifting weights in the gym. So I'm gonna show you one of the ways that I do this where I demonstrate some sort of like physical appearance on FaceTime. Most guys, they FaceTime like this and they say hi with their like chin tucked down like this and this is very bad. So my FaceTime calls have a complete process. The first thing that I do is I actually get my computer, okay, and I go like this. Are you able to see my, com are they, can they see my computer by any chance? I can open it up. No, that's, that's fine. I want to keep this raw and just rolling. So I, um, maybe move the tripod back just a little bit as we do this because th this is good. They can... I want them to kind of see this for this well, angle. Well, I can zoom I can zoom out. I'm zoomed in. Can you see the computer? Now I can, yeah. Okay, cool. So what I do is I will actually take my computer, and what I do is I prop it um, over to the side like this. I take my phone. As you guys can see, this is my cell phone, and I want to make sure that the girl can actually still hear me, so I don't want to cover the bottom speakers, and I go like this, and I set my phone just like this. So are they able to see the side of the phone sitting here? You guys can see this, I think, right? Side of the phone sits here. Now, why do I do that? Because I just took the angle from down with my chin to up. Now she can see some of my upper body. It might be a slightly more attractive angle, right? You wanna make sure you're well-groomed. You wanna make sure you're wearing something appealing. Now, this is only step one. There's a second step to this. You want to make sure the location that you're in is as high value, if you want to call it that, or as nice or shows any sign of status as possible. I don't care if you're in an apartment and you only have one painting or one picture on the wall, right? Try to make it so that way what she sees is she sees the artwork. Okay, so if she sees the artwork or she sees whatever, um, that's going to look like you're a bit more higher level or you have more status going for you. Okay, so that's only the first thing that I do. So. I would recommend go in any location in your house that demonstrates you have a nice spot or even you have a nice wall behind you. Make it look good. Presentation is everything. Women are oftentimes um, going to gravitate towards whatever is the shiniest object, right? For me, I might have like a nice backdrop or like there's some nice um, 
you know, in this kitchen, there's some nice cupboards right here. Um, there's a little bit of like a rock wall right here or some stone. So I might kind of tilt like this and show this, right? You can see the nice scenery behind me a little bit. And now she can actually see me face on. I can show physique. Use whatever you have to your advantage. That's what I do. Now, the next part about this, this is really in depth. I want to break the ice as smooth and as nonchalant as possible. And here's how I do this. In the beginning of the FaceTime call, I never under any circumstances want to give her 100% of my undivided attention. So I'm not sitting here looking at her like this. What am I doing? I'm acting like I'm doing something. I'm carrying on with my day. And I'm going to show you the best way to do this. The best way you do this is you want to eat in front of the woman. Women think it is so hot and so attractive when a guy eats a lot of food. Now there's a few reasons for this. All that really comes down to is you being the ultimate caveman. First, it shows you're bigger than her. Second, it shows you can handle more food than her. And third, women are survival creatures, so they're drawn to excess calories, okay? Anytime you have food, watch a, watch a woman light up if you give her like a piece of pizza or something and watch how happy she gets for a second. So here's what I do. I act like, I just got done cooking or I set the FaceTime call for when I'm eating dinner so it's actually real and I'm actually eating it this time and I want abundance. So here's how I do this. Let me give you an example. What I'll do, stay right there, I'll be back. So what I do, let's say, let's say hypothetically here, let's say each of these pieces of food, um, we're gonna just name it something else. So this is a full New York strip steak, right? Even though it's a grapefruit. This is a full plate of fries and ketchup that I made from the air fryer. And I want you to imagine this is a full take and bake pizza that I just put in the oven. And I made this pizza. So now she's like, oh, what are you doing? Or what are you up to? And I notice my attention, my focus isn't on her. I'm sitting there cutting the steak. I go, hi, let's say her name's Kayla. I go, oh, hi, Kayla. And I'm like looking down, I'm eating it. And then I'll cut off a piece, or let's say I take one of the French fries and I dip it in ketchup. And even though, so my phone is right here where the computer is, and I'll, I'll dip it in the ketchup and I'll go, open up. Right, and she'll go, so it's, it's a joke, right? It's like she bit it through the phone. She's eating through the phone. Why is this so important? Look at my presentation compared to most guys. First off, most guys are scared shitless, staring at her, and they're staring at her, and all of their attention's at her, and she can feel that high interest. Me, I'm rolling up to this as nonchalant as possible. Here's my full New York strip steak. I make a full plate of air fryer fries, and I have a full pizza that I just pulled out of the oven, and that's what she sees. So now, and then when she says, oh, what are you doing, what are you up to? Oh, I'm just reading, blah, 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 whatever. I go, oh, take a look at all my food. I go, oh, look at this, I'm so hungry. I go, look, doesn't this look so good? And she's like, oh, yum, that looks so good. Why do you have to do this? Women are survival creatures. How they think and how they process information, a lot of it is still the same from 500 to 1,000 years ago. So the guy who could hunt, the guy who knew how to farm, the guy with abundance of calories, 100% makes her feel more safe. So demonstrate calories any way that you can. Fat, carbs, and sugar in that combination, or fat, carbs, salt, sugar, in those combinations, it makes her feel good. So I'm showing food, my attention is not fully on her, and I'm nonchalant. So now here's the gold with all of this. As she sees me eating, here's what's happening to her anxiety and her nervousness from meeting a new person. Because you have to remember, women get nervous meeting new people too. So you can feel her anxiety and her nervousness throughout that first 10 minutes. It goes down and down and down and down and down. And you can watch it until she's completely comfortable. And it feels like she's talking to her mom or her dad or her brother or or her cousin, or somebody she knows on a one-to-one -one basis. And now I'm not a stranger. Now I'm this big, stupid caveman dude, cutting up steak, feeding her fries through the phone. Now I'm providing for her, psychologically in her head. I'm literally providing for her, and I'm not making the focus all about her. This is complete gold because when the focus is not all about her, now she has time to banter. Now she has time to actually joke around with you and be a woman. And now she slowly starts to fall in love and want to see you. And she's going to laugh the whole time as she watches you eat all of this stuff. So this is only the first part of the FaceTime date. Now I do a second part here that I'm going to show you in just a second. Okay, so now here's the second part to this. Let's say I'm finishing my food and I'm talking to her casually and nonchalant and I'm not giving her a lot of attention because I'm focused on the food. There's a second part to this. Now when I'm done eating, I'm going to location change. Okay, so I'll show you what I do. One of the things I would do is I'd like grab the phone 
and I'd still talk to her, but now I'm at the down angle acting like I don't care. And yeah, she just sees the bottom of my chin or wherever in my house. And I'm gonna do something really smooth and casual. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna grab like a sparkling water or something. You know, I'm gonna keep holding this phone so she can hear me. I'm gonna be casual and cool as a cucumber and set down the phone so she just sees the wall. And it's still, I'm talking to her, but it's very casual and nonchalant. And she's like, oh wow, this guy's not trying super hard. Now here's where the switch happens. Now I'm going to location change with her. So as I'm holding the phone, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, I'll, I'll actually show you what I did yesterday. So I just literally walked upstairs to one of my favorite spots to sit. And I'll show you what I do. So I'm still talking to her. And the reason why I did this is the girl said, oh, show me your house or give me a little tour. And this is very common. The girl, the girl's going to say, oh, let me see what your house looks like. Let me see what your apartment looks like. If you're outside, she's going to say, oh, let me see what your backyard looks like. So like up here, I have a pool table. So I just, you know, showed her the pool table. And then what I did was I sat right here and I went just like this. And I set my water down that I'm drinking. <laughs> this is great. And I lean back like this, and now I'm giving her 100% of the attention. Before down there, I was nonchalant, and I got her nervousness to go down to zero. Now is where I want to talk to her man to woman. So now that her anxiety threshold and her nervousness is all the way down, and I calmed her. So now what I'm going to do is I'm laying here, and now she gets 100% of my undivided attention. Now I'm talking to her fully man to woman, fully confidently, and everything that I'm saying there's vocal tone added. She's getting bashful sometimes. She's getting playful. You'll watch her play with her hair. And then you're going to watch their, um, sometimes their face might even go flush. They're super attracted to you. And that changeover, when now you can talk to a man to woman one to one like this and finish off the call is perfect. And you want to end the call after about 20 to 30 minutes, you guys got to know each other. And then you just say, okay, my friend's coming over or I got this to do or I got that to do. So I have to go. Always make sure you leave the FaceTime call on a high note when she's having fun. So that way she has a reason to miss you. And then what you also want to do is always be the first one to leave the call. If she has to leave the call first, that means she's sick and tired of FaceTiming. You want to make sure you exit it first. So she misses you and she chases that investment. So this is the second part. I talked to her very direct and now when I'm staring at her, I'm looking into her soul. Like before I wasn't giving her any attention. Now I'm staring directly at her. I'm talking directly to her, talking to her very direct and very confident. And they love this. And this is the two part process of how I get dates from FaceTime. If that's the angle that I choose to use, or if that's how I met the woman through the phone.